Hey, what's up? It's me, Phil. And uh, today I'm going to give a quick tutorial on how to get started with the sequence loader plugin for RTC. I'm currently using 506, and the sequence loader plugin is uh, only available for uh, BizHawk right now. So I'm going to start by uh, downloading it with the package downloader. It's right here, sequence loader version 1.0. Install, it's installed. There you go. I'm going to restart my BizHawk because uh, the plugins don't load dynamically. So I'm going to get my emulator here and uh, my corruptor right here. So um, the sequence loader plugin is going to appear as a tool right here. And there's two ways you can load uh, a file, either via the button, which will pop a um, a window to select the file or you can drag and drop the file you want in this little corner here. So I'm going to start with uh, the NSF format for the NES. Uh, right now there's only NSF and SPC formats that are supported. Might add some in the future, who knows. Uh, Mario 3 is a great example of a game that does not replay perfectly. <laughs> it's funny, I, I start with that. but. It's something that you can expect to happen because uh, NSF files are essentially just containers that replicate the music that was playing in the game while the person who ripped the music, like, rap I think it wraps the music engine or something like that, and it's not perfect. Most of the games will replay correctly, but Mario 3, see, no bongos. Some games don't replay perfectly, it happens. Um, when you drag and drop a file in there, it creates a save state, so you can replay the song over and over again and corrupt it. But NSF files can contain an entire soundtrack, so when you load it, you, you get this button here, which lets you uh, go to the next song, and it's gonna load a new song into a save state. And uh, it's similar to how you would corrupt the game, like these are the normal NES uh, domains, but it's not going to behave the same exact way because remember, it's not the full game. It's just the music engine ripped from the game while it was running. So you, you can still get pretty interesting results. Like, oh, I just paused the game. Wow. Amazing. Uh, I'm going to go uh, to Super Nintendo. Uh, this is a Chrono Trigger song. I'm going to drop it in. It's going to generate uh, a save state. Uh, SPC files are dumps of uh, the contents of the SPC 700 chips. So it's the, the way this works is it takes a dump and uh, I'm wrapping it into a ROM using an uh, open source program called Binaries SPC Loader. And this ROM is then put in the glitch harvester for you to corrupt it over and over again. And there's there's many ways to do it. Um, I might get something here. It, it can get tedious sometimes. Oh. Oh, that's great. So, uh, ow. <laughs> so, uh, I should go back to Super Nintendo for this though. So, when you load the Super Nintendo SPC file, you'll get two domains selected by default. It's gonna be the AP RAM and a VMD called the Cartrum SPC file. The AP RAM is essentially the same thing you'd get if you were playing the actual game. So you can use your favorite technique to get corruptions, just like if you were playing the game. Uh, what the Cartrum uh, SPC file does is that it can let you corrupt the part uh, of the SPC file inside the ROM before it gets loaded which means that you can get results with the Nightmare Engine. And if you get lucky, you'll get something cool, I guess. I mean, it... It, uh, it takes time, right? It, it's not... Y you won't get immediate results, especially considering that you don't have the full game engine running right now. For the NES, you have some kind of a rip of the game engine running in the memory, for the Super Nintendo, it's just replaying the, the sound inside the music chip. But 
it is a very good way to like go straight to a song that would take ho- hours to get to. For example, if you want to do the final boss in Earthbound, you kind of you might want to skip the entire game because uh, that you know that that's a long game. So this concludes my quick tutorial on uh, the sequence loader version one for RTC 506. This also applies to uh, future versions of RTC and future versions of the sequence loader. I don't think I'll change the program much past this point. Maybe I'll add more formats in the future, but I cannot promise anything at that point. So have a great day.